Hey guys, welcome to the channel. So today we're going to be working on some signs. Uh, the, one of the last videos we carved them up using a router out of just scrap pieces. And today we're going to use some scrap pieces, a piece of live edge. We're going to create two different styles of signs. We're going to be using the chainsaw and then we'll use some power tools to clean them up. Be sure to stick around if you guys want to see how I do that. We're going to kind of do it in a full tutorial sort of video to help you create these signs as well. So give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe. Let's start making some sawdust. All right, so we're getting ready to carve. I've got my pieces cut. I've already drawn on them. I'm gonna give you guys a lot more close-ups though as we get going. So I will be using a dime tip bar. You'll need a dime tip bar to do this, you can probably get away with a quarter pitch bar or a quarter tip bar, okay? Now, this one is a 43 gauge and this one's a 50 gauge. You can achieve both looks with either one, it doesn't matter. I will be using the 43 gauge just because it's a thinner kerf cut um, and that's what I like to carve with and I just don't want to run the gas saw right now. So, I'm going to use my battery saw and we're going to use that. Now we're looking at two different style signs here. They both will be done with chainsaw, but it's a matter of how they look and how much time you want to put into them. This is a very basic sign. It just says, welcome. We'll use the nose of the bar, we'll carve it in, we'll use a flame bit burr and clean it up, paint it, sand it, and be done. Now this sign is something new for me, but I wanted to make sure to share with you guys. This is a whole different style. This is. This is more work, all right? So that means you gotta claim more money for it if you're selling it. Now this style sign, I uh, was introduced to by watching a video from Ryan Cook on Ryan Cook's carves. And uh, he's a great carver, awesome dude, good vibes. I mean, really, he is. He's, he's a, a cool guy and a great teacher and makes a lot of really, really nice stuff. Very knowledgeable. And I watched that video a few times of him creating this. I actually told him I was probably gonna make this video on my channel as well to help all of you. Um, if you want, you guys can go check his video out. I'll try to remember to link it down below, but if not, it's Ryan Cook, Ryan Cook Carves. Even if you put his name in, you guys will find him. You'll find him. He's got the, the hair. He, cool guy. Anyway, so we're gonna carve this up and I'm gonna go kind of walk you guys through that. Now, I'm gonna bring uh, this camera in nice and close so you guys can see what I'm working on, and we'll have one kind of set up over the shoulder, and uh, hopefully you guys get all the angles. Let's, uh, let's make sure we're putting our safety gear on, using common sense, being safe today, and uh, start making some sawdust, all right? You got the first welcome sign clamped in the jaw horse. Now you can have it laying flat, or you can have it on its side, and you can carve this way. This way you're gonna have to carve up like this, moving the saw around different ways. Now, if you don't have a jaw horse for this style, you could always put it on the ground, but you're gonna be bent over, hunched over, trying to create that piece, and over time, you know, you probably hurt your back. So, a jaw horse is a really important thing to, uh, to acquire if uh, you're really gonna get into chainsaw carving and really pursue it. It's a big, big help for smaller items. So, your saw is sharp, you're ready to go, and the goal is, saw control okay we don't want to be cutting right through this thing we're going to be using just the nose of the bar and we want to try to go in only a quarter at most half of an inch and we're just going to follow the lines that are on here that say welcome
pretty quick, pretty easy with the chainsaw. You just knock that out. Now what I like to do is take the flame burr. All right, this is a quarter inch shaft flame burr from Sabretooth. This is the green, green coarse bit from Sabretooth Tools. And we're gonna go through and just hit everything, kind of round it in. Not a lot of time here, we're just going pretty quick. This is all carved up and honestly it's like ready for paint you could paint it now if you want you could take your angle grinder with a flap sander or a disc from Sabretooth tools and just hit it really quick All that does is get rid of the fuzzies that are created from the chainsaw so let's say that's it we're done right there's nothing else we want to do to it other than putting some paint on which is totally fine let's go ahead get ourselves some paint whatever brand spray paint you choose is okay i like to use the stuff that costs between three to four dollars a can sticks a little better than the super super cheap stuff just in my experience Like in the last video, I've seen other people hit this with a torch and dry it quickly. Got to be prepared for a big flame and smoke and all that kind of stuff. I'm not going to do that. We're going to go ahead and just uh, set this aside and start working on the next sign. Okay. So we'll let that dry. Let's grab the more technical sign to carve. We got a nice sunny day, so we'll put this over here. Did this style now. What's gonna to be tough about this is I'm cutting a piece that's probably an inch and a quarter, inch and a half thick, all right, rough cut. It's not very thick. If you can get a piece of two inch, it will make it so much easier. You'll have more meat to work with. So what this means is I'm gonna to have to kind of shave only a little bit off at a time. So what I wanna do is look at all my, my lines, right? Now, you guys can look this pattern up. It's always difficult for me to map it out. Um, so I didn't video it, but you guys can look for it. I think it's like a Western pattern um, of letters, but they're, they're basically like straight cuts. Everything can be straight cuts. Now what I want to do though is go in, same thing, about a quarter of an inch with the tip of the bar. We're going to do a straight line all the way down. Straight line all the way down. And we'll do the ends. We'll cut in between each letter, the straight line. And then we'll go through and start cutting all the little lines to really start like to define the letter.
Before I start cutting those little lines, I actually want to remove all this outer edge material. So we're going to turn the saw sideways and bring it down to the depth of those cuts and cut to that outer line all the way around and kind of work our way down and around the piece. So the only thing sticking up higher is where the letters are. As you guys can see, the letters stick up a little bit higher, okay? Now it's time to go in and start making these cut lines here for to actually define the letters, because right now they just kind of look like weird shaped square blocks. So I'm gonna go in, start making some more cuts. chunk for the L. Take that little beast out. little piece here by the C. And I'm just going to clean up my edges. I like to clean them up a little bit and then we'll move into paint.
Guys, now that that's done, before we go into paint, I like to hit it with a torch, get rid of any fuzzies. Real quick. on this and I'm gonna paint the whole top we're gonna paint everything when we're done the letters will be wood and everything around and in them will be paint as long as everything goes well we'll kind of kind of see what happens here Well, that's all set. We're gonna let that dry and clean up the one we started earlier. That style is done. That's it, we're ready for some clear coat. Pretty easy, pretty simple, pretty quick. You get in a good rhythm, you guys can knock out a ton of these. Really, really fast, all right? They still look chainsaw carved. You know, they, they look great. They go well with your bears and other carvings. People absolutely love them. So there you go, quick. That's a quick, easy one with the saw and a couple little tools. Let's go ahead and grab the other one, clean it up, and uh, see what we got. We're going to clean up this top layer, and then we're going to move it in the jaw horse and clean up around the edge, and we're going to leave the rest of it green. That looks pretty good, right? You could leave it like it is. I want to actually go around and hit it just with the torch, darken up the letters just a little. That is it. This thing is ready for some clear. Now, a couple things I really want to go over real quick before we, we wrap it up. If you're using a torch here in any, well, let's back it up. All right, you spray your paint on. Paint needs to be dry before you start sanding. If you start sanding before this paint is dry, all the sawdust will collect and stick to the paint and it doesn't blow off. Then there's sawdust in your paint. You got to redo it. It's annoying. So, Make sure this is dry before you start painting so there's no sawdust, okay? One. Two, if you want to do the part that I just did, 
you need to be aware of your surroundings. I got a lot of sawdust here, right? If a little amber falls or if I overheat right here on the jaw horse and catch something on fire, you guys need to be prepared for that. Normally, I, I have a garden hose off screen and it's got an end I can just squeeze or turn on and damp, you know, dampen the area or put a small fire out that could, you know, start up that I can't just tap out with my hand. Normally, it's just, you know, you tap it out, you're good. But keep that in mind. Have a bucket of water ready. Have a garden hose ready. Whatever, because this is all pretty dry by the next day after you've carved and it can go up in flames really, really quick. So just, just be safe. All right, guys. Now this piece though, this is ready to go. I do want to show you guys though how thin it is. See how thin this is? All right, maybe three quarter of an inch in some spots. Okay, so if you did this with two inch, it would be a lot thicker down here and you could still do the same depth. So you have more of a chunk of wood to really uh, to mess with. But there it is. You guys should be able to get the gist from that and uh, you know start making your own. And so I really hope this will help you create signs for your carvings, some really cool ones, some quick ones, or maybe something a little more intricate. I mean, this you could sell by itself to somebody, get a little better, make it say camp or you know whatever you want to do. I really do want to give a shout out to uh, Ryan Cook. You know, Ryan Cook's got an awesome channel, does some awesome carvings. He's, a, he's an amazing artist and a really cool person. Uh, we've chatted a little online and he is, he's just a great guy. And this, like I said, this... You know, I probably wouldn't be making these if I didn't see his video and his tutorial on how to do it. And I'm kind of remaking it here on my channel for those of you that follow me and maybe didn't get to see that video. I really think this is such a cool design, whether it's for your bears or hanging on a cabin or just, you know, whatever it may be. So if you guys don't already go follow Ryan Cook's carving, just look up Ryan Cook here on YouTube. It'll pop up. You guys will see his channel. Go follow that. Hit sub. Awesome channel. Really cool guy. Definitely worth following. So. If you guys are still here sticking around, make sure you hit subscribe on my channel, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment, let me guys, let me know, let me know what you guys think about these, uh, these carvings, these signs, you know, hopefully I can knock out a, uh, a bear here video for, for this weekend, we'll see what happens, um, if you guys are interested in tools and things like that, check out the Amazon links down below, purchase through those links, help support the channel. If you want to become one of the awesome members that helps support the channel more direct, you guys can do that. There'll be a membership thing below. It says become a member or join or something like that. It's in the description or it's on the main header of my page. You guys can jump on, see what that's all about. Bunch of different tiers. Buy me a coffee, get some more in-depth tutorials, get a little help with your carving, or just, you know what, say, hey, Kyle, I want you to get that much closer to doing this full-time. Let me hook you up. Whatever it may be, whether you do or you don't, that's totally up to you. It's okay. It's all good. So, hope you guys enjoy this great weather that's been coming around. Hope you have an awesome weekend, and I'll see you guys in the next video.